Hey, and welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to create and animate a single photo with your free tools. Now, today we're just going to be using two websites. The first one is styler.ai. There will be links in the description for all of these. So you want to head over to styler.ai. This is uh, if you don't already have an image that you wish to animate. If you already have an image, you can skip this part and jump straight to part two of the video, which will be showing you the tool that I use to animate them. But if you need an image and you need one free, let's just use Styler. So the first thing you want to do is head over to Styler.ai and go over to here where it says start for free. Click on that button and you will be able to enter your email and your password or sign in with Google. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in and uh, I'll show you what the screen looks like once I'm in. Okay, so I am now in and as you can see, it starts on the style library, which is a really good feature because it gives you an idea before you just try and generate loads of images and different styles. It gives you an idea first of what style might be best suited for you. So I'm going to actually try and create a realistic one, but there are, as you can see, tons and tons of styles here. They go on for, okay, not forever, but a good amount. But I'm going to try a realistic one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here that says new project. And as you can see, once it loads, you are met with this screen here in which you can name your project and also choose your aspect ratio. Now this is purely up to you, whatever your preference or your requirements are. I'm going to choose 16.9 and hit apply. Now, as you can see, it has changed the canvas size to 16.9 for me. I'm now going to head over here and I'm going to click text to image and I'm going to choose style. And this is where you can choose all of those styles that they showed you earlier. I'm going to choose realistic and I'm going to write a prompt and I'm going to say a 30 year old female influencer and then I'm going to choose no makeup sunny day and I'm going to say wearing a dress outside full body shop because this will hopefully give us more to animate uh, once the image is created. So that's literally all I'm going to do. Under advanced is negative prompt if you want to write a negative prompt. But to be honest, I find this creates really good images from the start. Uh, one thing you, you will have to note is it will create a watermark on the bottom right unless you upgrade and pay. But to be honest, you can get rid of those watermarks using watermark AI removers or even things like generative fill in Photoshop if you have that software available. So I'm just going to click Stylerize. And this will take a little while, not too long. You do get this uh, advertisement come up for uh, paid option, but I just cancel it. And uh, there's one job waiting in the queue. And here we go. And it's now generating our four images. And that's what it does every time it creates four images per generation. So that gives us plenty to work from. Now, if you uh, move your mouse over the images, the face here wasn't very good at all. This one wasn't too bad. Yeah, the face maybe needed some work. But uh, let's say, for example, this one here. If I double click on this, it will add it to my canvas and I can download the image here because right now all I want to do is create an image and take it over and show you how I animate it. Of course, you can spend more time and you can be more detailed in your image generation. You can also use websites like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion to create your images and then just bring them into this uh, next software instead of creating one with Styler first. But I just wanted to show you how easy and free it can be to do this. So I'm going to save this image to my desktop and then I'm going to show you the next website. And here we are on Hyper. Hyper is an amazing website, completely free at the moment. I don't know if that's going to stay like that, but Hyper is a free website that creates animations from single images. It also has a ton of other features for you to have a look at. But for this particular video, I'm just going to be concentrating on photo to animation. So click try for free. It may ask you to sign up. I can't remember if it's automatically logging me in or not. If it 
does ask you to sign up it's a very simple process just your usual name email address etc and this will be, you'll be met with this screen here click on animate your image and then down here you will see an upload image box click that and choose the image that you wish to animate so for me I have just uploaded the image that we created with Styler and what I want to do is I want to say hair blowing in the wind and I'm going to say clouds moving in sky the clouds may not work because I can't actually see any clouds so I'm not sure if it's going to add clouds or not but hopefully we'll at least get the hair blowing in the wind now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose four seconds because that is the maximum amount that hyper does four seconds may not sound a lot but a recent survey in the movie industry showed that an average movie scene will last for three to four seconds before changing angle or changing direction so actually four seconds depending on what your use case is would actually be pretty decent I feel so we're going to choose four seconds and we're going to click create now once again you will wait a little moment while this creates and this also adds a watermark to the top right of your video uh, but once again the same process applies you could probably quite happily get rid of the watermark using AI watermark removers which uh, there are a few online but this tutorial will mainly just concentrate on the animation part and we're just going to wait I'm going to pause the video and I'm just going to wait for this to be generated okay so it's been about three or four minutes and it has generated the video so let's play it and we'll see what it's like wow okay so it's completely changed the orientation of the lady which actually it kind of keeps the face pretty good kind of I don't know it has added clouds the clouds are moving I think if I hadn't had added the clouds moving it probably would have just been her hair blowing in the wind but I think because it has to add the cloud moving it therefore has to pan something and then of course it changes her orientation but that's not actually that terrible like, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that even her top there is blowing in the wind there's not too many AI anomalies and of course it creates the rest of the field here uh, which does have a bit of a zoom effect but anyway you can see how it works so I'm gonna try again and I'm going to there's a regenerate button here there's a very prompt there is of course repainting and then there are other options which is delete and then you can set a privacy on the video but then you've also got the download button at the bottom here and of course you can like your own video if you wish so uh, we, I'm going to show the very prompt and I'm this time I'm going to take away the clouds and I'm just going to type in hair hair and I won't, I won't add clothes actually I'll just say hair and then this will generate again so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you what this one does in three to four minutes so we have the second video that's now been generated it's still not perfect halfway through she still turns her head not quite sure why that happens but you can definitely see the the hair wind effect um, definitely in play that's definitely worked so uh, I think we have a bit of tweaking maybe some negative prompts or something in the the prompt here to indicate always look forward so I would probably add something like looking straight ahead smiling something like that something that would keep her head straight but this has been a very very quick tutorial on how to animate images and as you can see actually looks pretty decent when you do get it right which it can take a couple of goals but because this is free you can generate as many as you want and just click the regeneration button and there you go it's, re it's generating again and the next one may be better so thank you for watching I appreciate every sub and every view I really do I'm still quite a small channel it would be amazing to try and build this channel uh, so if you did like the video I really hope you don't mind subscribing it really helps me out so thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video